until Nevada caved in. The uh, amount, now I know many of us are not very happy about that. The, right now, we have 104 nuclear reactors that put only about uh, 20% of our electrical energy and only about 10% uh, of our total energy. Got we are capable, got of, we are capable of going 100% uh, of our energy with nuclear power with no environmental impacts, but we have to divide up where we're putting them. Uh, out of 185% of the east of the east and a half of the country, we've got to put other repositories, other nuclear sites, and it should be underground, because you know, we're targeting modern, modern weapons. They're too exposed now, and we'll be here another century. So, Yes, sir. Can, can we push the idea of having at least 10 or more central energy parks and they should be underground for nuclear power? Thank you, sir. Uh, I, can, I cannot push for that many. I can push for a international, uh, someplace internationally, where we could ship spent nuclear waste and have it soared if it's possible to do that and reach some international agreements where we can do that. I have to tell you, and I, uh, my friends, I got, I got to go to places and tell people that they don't want to hear and people think they want to hear. I went to Iowa and said that I didn't support ethanol subsidies. And I still don't. I'm not saying that I can change 
change the policies of, say, states like Florida and California. It's up to the people of those states as to what they do offshore. But I would certainly offer them larger shares of the revenue if long distances from shore they agree to offshore um, exploitation of natural resources. But I still respect their right as states to determine what happens offshore. But I, I would also emphasize just one other thing. The answer to America's energy issue is certainly trying to exploit existing oil reserves and find new ones. But the real answer, my friends, is is with technology. It's with batteries that will take the car 100 miles before you have to plug it in. It's with hybrids. It's with nuclear. It's with wind. It's with solar. Black House in Nevada and Arizona solar is going to be exploding more. And it's going to be I'm going to spend a whole lot of time in the month of June talking about energy independence and the need for it and the ways we can attack it. And America can do it. There's no doubt in my mind with the innovation and technology and the capability of the United States of America, we can eliminate what you said in your opening comment, which is so vital, and that is, my friends, the 500 billion or 600 billion, depending on what the price of oil, of a barrel of oil is, it's going overseas to countries that don't like us very much. Some of it ends up in the hands of terrorist organization. So it is a, it is a national security, it's an economic issue, and it's a climate issue, and I believe America must address it. Yes. Yes, sir. And then I'll go right back to Sir Abdul. Yes, sir. Thank you. What should I ask for? Microphone. It's a work release program. For a second. Morning, sir. As one of you will be here to another, sir, I'll just first say that I think this should be a great campaign. Thank you. Go through this campaign. But I do 